All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Surreal Bogomolka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of Seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Alex Poetan Pereira! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my fit. Truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Left-right combo is good. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Big powerful punch land. 
and now we'll get back to rain. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kick is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Oh, nice elbow. Big kick. Take one on the perfect spot, he will crumble like a stack of bricks. Oh. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body. Nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. And he landed the right hand there. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous. But there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. About the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Nice straight punch. Oh, 
Charter do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, single collar tie here. Wow. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there, but was certainly there on that. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Ooh, what a punch. Real steep by him. Nice leg kick land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big elbow. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. That's a big strike right there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He blocks the punch. Nice one, two there. Nice right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Ooh, big shot, man. The punch coming, it's blocked. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Got clip with the right hand. Both guys really throwing with authority. Big leg kick land. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Straight right. He misses. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. If your opponent has to get the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Punch over the top. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Final seconds here. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Ten minutes in the books. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability 
to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's in Nice loop and punch. And that left hook landed on the button. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Another strike to the body, not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch land. Ooh. He's throwing every part of himself. It's hitting big leg kicks. How good is that right hand? Blocks the shot. Back and forth we go. Good stick. Well, that body kick was there. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. And really starting to make these shots count. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. And this might just be a matter of time. There is the tap. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. Oh my goodness! What a fight! So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 36 seconds of round number 3. We're going the winner by tap out, Surreal well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.